Uh, hello there, Cynthia and Satya. How's it going? How's life, baby? Hello, Diane and everyone else. Hi there. What's happening? How's it going? <laughs> it's starting to rain here. Sorry about everyone. Hello, Fuss, Sue, Diane, Mary, Michelle, Michelle, Jane, Trisha. Hello there. How's it going? How's life? Francis, how are you doing, buddy? How's life, everybody, today? You see the statue? Look at the statue. Watch, we're going to zoom in on the statue out in the sea. Look. Keep your eye on it. There's a bird sitting on top of it. It's a man on top of a pillar. See it? It's a art project. Artist um, Gormley. It's men. He's got a few of them around Edinburgh. Hello, Akash. How are you today? Thank you for coming on my tour today. Nice to see everybody. Fliss, yes, Fliss, it was on the news. It went global. It went global. There's it over here. See it there? That's it there. Look. That's it there. Yeah, it went global. I wonder why, I don't know why it attracted the world's um, attention so much. I think it's one of the first times it's ever happened. I don't think it's really, I don't think ships actually um, topple over that often. I think it's quite unique. Hello Deb, how are you doing today? It's quite a grey overcast day here in Edinburgh. Well technically we're in Leith. It's looking across to Fife. This is the Firth of Forth. The stretch of water you can see is the Firth of Forth. And that leads out into the North Sea. Where all the oil and gas is. And the wind and the waves and the tidal power. I'm on board a very famous yacht. Can anyone guess what yacht I am on today? Can anyone guess where I am? I'm on a certain yacht. Hey, Natasha, how you doing? How's life? By the way, if I have not said hello to you, it's because I don't see everybody joining the tour for some reason. It's not, I am not ignoring you. <laughs> hey, Barbie, how you doing? We're on the royal deck of the Royal Yacht Britannia. Hello, Agatha. And Jane. Hello. Welcome on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. I don't know how much of the boat we'll actually get to see. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here. They don't even know I'm here. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> How's Barbie doing and Robert? How's life, everybody? You see the big whiskey building here? The whiskey distillery? It's going to be the world's first Scotch whiskey distillery. Vertical. Hey, Becky. 
Thank you for coming on board today. What is the temperature? Um, I think it's about 12. I forgot to check, actually. It's not cold. A little bit windy. About 12, 13 degrees Celsius. Is it just me, or is this dripping in and out? Um, I've had a full signal so far for this. Maybe try refreshing it. That could perhaps help you. Video is fine. Yeah, maybe just refresh it. The app has been updated. I don't know if you're watching on the app. The app has been updated. Good afternoon. Oh, Kathleen B, how you doing? Good afternoon. Minus two in Nova Scotia. I think it's about 12 or 13 degrees here today. Slightly damp. Slightly damp. Get rid of your postcard. Let's get a little postcard for you. Look. Nom, nom, nom. They'll have to make a lot of changes to the yacht. Well, I don't know if they will actually, but because now the Queen's um, passed away. Because this is all, obviously, this was known as the Queen ship. Hello, Adrian, Paulette, Diane, Faith, Dee, Lubka. How's everyone doing today? Paulette. Hello, Paulette. My name is Paul. How I can is that? Maybe, mind you, at the weekends, I, call my, I can call myself Paulette or Pauline. Oh, thank you, Jane, for leaving a tip. Hey, Arte. How's life in the fast lane? Can you see the ship that's toppled over? Look. See it over there. So that's what all the fuss is about. It's being global. I think it got reported in almost every country in the world. Hello, Julie. How much do the tickets cost? It depends how old you are. <laughs> oh no, pensioners don't get a discount here. It's £18.50. Who does the Queen's, the QE ship belong to now? It's a private postcard. It's a, it's a private postcard. Sorry, I just read a postcard coming up there. It's privately owned. It's private. You can actually hire it for a, an event if you like, if you've got enough money. You can hire the yacht if you like. If you have got enough money. They have firework displays and all that. Was a lot of people hot? 33 people were hot. I think seven are still in hospital. Hello, Dr. Bonita. Thank you for coming on my tour. And to all my sponsors today. Hello, Bonnie from Nova Scotia. Oh, we've got a couple of ladies from Nova Scotia. We've got Bonnie and Barbie. Or should it be Barbie and Bonnie because Barbie is alphabetically before Bonnie. <laughs> Remember I done a tour from over there, New Haven, that's New Haven across there, that's New Haven, that's all, this is all reclaimed land here, see here, this is all reclaimed land, it's called Western Harbour, because that's facing west, funnily enough, <laughs> and this is north, north, up this way, did they upright the ship, no it's still here, look, look Carol C, Carol C, look, there it's there, Still toppled over, listing at 45 degree angle. Hello DT and Renny. Thank you for joining my tour on this grey, overcast, dull Saturday here in Edinburgh's Port of Leaf. It's quite a dreek day. Well, it's not, no, it's not really dreek. It's not wet enough to be dreek. Scottish people have lots of different words to describe the weather. Most most of them are too rude to mention on Hegel, of course. <laughs> is that to reclaim land? Yes, this is all reclaim land here. This is working well. Some of it's no. Some of it is. Um, that's that's there's actually a beach over there. Believe it or not, there's actually a beach over there. So part of it is reclaimed, but part of it is uh, natural. Part of it is man-made. Like all this, this is all man-made here. All this, all here. It's just it's changed a lot over the centuries as you can imagine. It will cost a pretty penny here, don't to get my cranes in. I'm gonna try and coincide if I can try and find out when the ship's going to get uprighted, I'll try and time a Hago tour so we can watch it live getting uprighted. 
which might not be exciting, so I'll have to <coughs> I'll have to play it by ear and see. Hello Trisha, how are you doing honey? Thank you for joining my tour today and Kathy as well. Thank you very much for coming on my tour. Oh, here we go. We've started, everyone. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Paul, and I'm going to be your tour guide today. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. Is anybody here for the very first time? Do we all know how to leave a tip? Do we all know how to take a postcard? The, the postcard button is a big round white button, in case you don't know how to use it. Hopefully you can get some nice postcards today. How's everyone doing? How's life, everybody? What's been happening today? What's going down? Karen! Zena, Kathy, How's it going, everybody who's joining? Thank you so much. There's the ship that's toppled over, look. See it? See the sail lying on its side? HMS Perville, Petrol, Petrol, it's called HMS Petrol, so that's it there. A day off at work. Woo! Oh, thank you, Mary, for leaving a tip. So this is just, um, I just put this up as a last minute tour. I was doing, supposed to be doing a tour later on today, but I forgot I had an actual other tour booked, so I just thought I would do a last minute tour and um, come down and show you this. But I'm actually not going to talk about this just yet, because I'm actually... Um, I've actually sneaked aboard the ex the ex Royal Yacht, so I'm actually standing on the Royal Yacht Britannia here. I'm standing in the footsteps of kings and queens. Get rid of your postcards. So here we go. So see H M Yacht Britannia E R two. This is actually the Royal Deck. See here. I'll get some postcards of the Bell. Look at this. The original bell from the Royal Yacht Britannia. Hopefully they're getting some postcards there. This is the royal this is the royal deck. So we see the beauty. Hello Don and Christopher, how's it going everybody? Ah well this life is too short, you know. You only live once, as they say. <laughs> so this here, this big black building here, is the the world's first Scotch whiskey distillery that's built vertically. See, it was built because they only had a small amount of space, so they had to build up the way instead of out the way. So this is going to be extremely exciting news for Scotland, for the vertical whiskey distillery, because they've got copper stills installed. And, hi Lorna, how are you doing today? Thank you very much for coming back on my tour. I'm actually on board the ex-Royal Yacht Britannia today. Kevin as well. Hello there everybody who's joining. This is the ship over here that's toppled over, by the way. But I'm going to go into the shopping centre, because um, look, if you see up here, See the ship that's toppled over there? That's it there. This is as close as we can get to it. But what I can do is I can actually get slightly higher up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the car park there. See up there? I'm going to go up there so we can get a higher up view of the, the yacht. Lorna, oh, you're going to Fort William, aren't you, Lorna? Fort William, I used to live there. I used to live in Fort William. Where are you staying about? They've got a Premier in up there now. Hello, Carolee. So as I say, I'm going to go up there. So what I'll do is I'll talk about this ship once I get up to the car park, okay? Now, bear in mind, by the way, everybody, I might lose the signal here because I've never been on board of a yacht with a, Hago, um, with a Hago app before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the royal apartments, right? I can't speak. So I'm going to go into... This is the, the royal bedrooms, okay? So there's only one double bed on board the, the royal yacht, Britannia, and that's in the honeymoon suite, okay? Queen, um, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip had separate bedrooms, Okay, so there's four royal bedrooms here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, but I can't talk in case the staff catch me, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So this is the royal drawing room. This is where the Queen and Prince Philip would sit and look out of the window. This furniture comes from Hong Kong. Look at the wee corgi. Look, look at the corgi. <laughs> so these are the royal bedrooms for him. the bar. Look at that. Look at the phone. Sorry, we're on the Royal Yacht Britannia. That was the royal apartments of the, the Royal Yacht Britannia. That was the Queen's bedroom and Prince Philip's bedrooms in the, the royal drawing room there. This is the royal apartments on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. So as you can see, this is the main deck. This is the biggest deck on board. You see the wood? That's made out of two inch thick teak. And this is where the royal family would play deck hockey and so on. So this is where the royal family spent a lot of time here. So that's that was the draw that was the drawing room in there. Okay, so that's where they would sit, and Prince Philip used to like painting, so he would get his easel out there and start painting whilst they were looking out on the on the deck. The top deck is the tea room, and that's just added on. The tea room is relatively new, so you can go for afternoon tea on board the Royal Yacht Britannia.
Okay, so what I'll do is a couple of people have missed the postcard, so I'll get a, another copy of the photo postcard of the bell. Okay, so here we're here, look. HM Yacht Britannia. Rule Britannia. And that's the ship that's toppled over over there. But I'm going to do a talk about that in a little. I'm going to go off board, okay? And I'm going to show you the ship from higher up, from up there, from a car park, okay? And we're going to see a little museum as well. <laughs> I'm saying nothing for this. So that's the boat, that's the ship that's fallen over, tripled over, see it there? It's still listing on its side. Probably sitting at about a 35, 40 degree angle. So that's it there, the petrol, HMS petrol. That's it lying over there on its side, unfortunately. 33 people were injured. I think there was about 50 people on board and 33 were injured. And I think seven people are still in um, hospital. So welcome on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. We'll see if we can get some postcards with no, no people in the shot. So that was the main part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and do some um, pre-recorded content. So here we go, get a picture of this, everyone. Oh. Just, does he say that? Somebody goes back in front of the bell. This is from their HMS yacht, Victoria and Albert. Yeah. Yeah. In the bell. 1953. Lovely, isn't it? Of course, the worst thing to do is come when it's busy. <laughs> when I came in this morning, I could not believe how busy it was. I turned up and about 100 people turned up at the same time as per usual when I go on board that uh, visitor attraction. Look what I really like about it. On board they would keep a Bentley. Look. So on board they would keep a Bentley. So wherever the royal family arrived to, they would just get drive off the Bentley off board. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about doing it in style, isn't it? So that's the tea room up here. You can go for afternoon tea. The last sitting is 3.15. It's £18.50 to get on board, and there's no old age pensioners' concessions. I think there are student concessions. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, I'm in Leith Docks, various little ships around here. Hello, Patrick. Thank you and everyone, Eva. So you can see the flubber mill. That's, an old, that's a flubber mill over there. Chancellor's Mill. Flubber mill. The little Navy inspection vessel or something. A shipping vessel in as well. Is this a permanent attraction? Yes, it's based here all the time in Edinburgh. It came here in about 1990. Its last official journey was 1997. Prince Charles sailed on board it to Hanback. Britain had stolen Hong Kong from China during the so-called Opium Wars in the Victorian period. And the lease had run out in 97. So in 97, the last official journey of the Royal Yacht Britannia was to hand back Hong Kong to the Chinese. That's what they get for stealing Hong Kong. <laughs> Hello, Jana and Christina from Finland. Welcome on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. I'm going to be doing a proper tour here. I'm going to come back and film it and do a proper whole tour. So keep that in mind, everyone. And this is the ship for the ones that have joined. This is the ship that's toppled over, which I'm going to talk about shortly. See it there? That's the ship that has toppled over. It's went global. It got reported all across the world for some reason. I'm not sure why it got reported so much around the world. Because Americans, Americans, Canadians, Australians, everybody knew about it. So... Yep. Yeah, but nobody, nobody was even killed. So just for the ones who have joined, I'll just show you the, the, the royal apartment here. The problem is, people have got these handset things, right? You know, they've got the audio guides, and they go about and um, listen to them and standing everywhere, as you can see. So if you come on board at the same time as everybody else, it can be really annoying. So it's with Prince Philip. That's you. I 
Gustavo could be, yeah, because it was owned by the one of the co-founders of Microsoft, but it's actually owned by the American Navy. The US Navy bought it in 2020, so it's a US Navy boat. Because at first that didn't get revealed at first it was a US Navy boat. It was kind of all hush-hush. So yeah, maybe because of that, um, Lorna. So there's a little deck and tea room is up there. I'll just quickly show you this. He posing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely. <laughs> Staff was posing for me there. <laughs> so this is a tea room. <laughs> Tell them you're from our travel magazine. Yeah, well, the girls certainly posed for me anyway. That was quite nice of her. So that's the real tea room. You can go for afternoon tea there. Obviously, it'd be quite expensive, I would imagine. You can actually hire the boat as well for an event. They regularly have firework displays here. Look at the Bentley. Tell them. Look, how cool. They just drove off the Bentley off the boat. Obviously, you can only access certain parts of the yacht. Welcome on board the XRL Yacht Britannia, everyone who's trying it. That's a new tea room, Paulette, that wasn't there. So here you go. So Britannia is owned by the Royal Yacht Britannia Trust, which is a not-for-profit, not-for-profit charitable organisation that receives no public sector revenue. All surplus revenues are reinvested in its long-term maintenance. There you go, the maintenance team there. As you can see. It's open. There is no end to the maintenance work on board the yacht. I'll just go to that. Thanks, pal. What's with this one? Oh, I think I'll lose signal in there. Let's try. I can't go any further, I'm going to lose the signal. But don't worry, I'm going to come back and do a proper full tour of this this yacht, okay? So don't worry, everyone. I will do a full yacht with a full audio tour. <laughs> would, you rather, would you rather listen to the Britannia tour or to my tour? Royal deck. Ah, I think we've already been there. Okay, I've just gone back to where I came. Right, okay. Let's go. We'll go and get some nice postcards, everybody. Your commentary. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. My tour. <laughs> Yeah, some of the audio tour guys can be quite boring. That's its last John there, look. 97. Built in Scotland, of course. It was built in Glasgow, actually. Well, looking resplendent, isn't it? Look at all the steps going up. Thank you, Diane. You can see them. There it is in London. Look. Oh, look at this London again, Tower Bridge. 
linked before. So you see here, this is the worst part of the tour, this is the start, and this is where you get stuck. So what you want to do, if you're not too interested in the wheelhouse, you just go down the stairs. Okay, <laughs> that's it, especially if it's busy, because it's not that important. You can actually download a tour as well, oh there she is in Scotland, look, in the rest of the miles in 1992. Eric, there's Prince Philip in Scotland. Look. <laughs> hey, hello, everybody. How is one doing today? <laughs> oh, one, one is not amused. <laughs> Go for afternoon tea. <laughs> and of course, you exit into the gift shop. <laughs> As you can see here. <laughs> Who wants a corgi? Who wants a corgi? Look. <laughs> £25 for a corgi. £25 for a corgi. Hello, corgi. I don't think you're worth £25, but you know. <laughs> there you go, quite a good gift shop. Oh, there's almost a gift shop. There is almost a gift shop. I bought the guidebook, actually. The guidebook's a tenner. And my Britannia chocolate. Look. In fact, when I do my Britannia tour, I'll do a surprise, I'll have a gift, right? What gift do you think I should buy for a prize? A mug? A fridge magnet? A bar of chocolate? <laughs> so you can buy a brand new Britannia guidebook for £10, see? Fantastic, isn't it? Mug, mug, mug. Magnets? Oh, medals as well, look at that. What's the cheapest thing? <laughs> a Britannia pen. You'll be getting a pen. <laughs> oh, chocolate and all that. Look, my oh, the fudge is made on board the ship, the boat, the ship. I keep calling it a boat. Guidebook. Uh, guidebook would be a good one. Look at the replica. Look at the model of the uh, Britannia. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I'll pass on the prize. Rather have something from Scotland. It, it was born, it was made in Scotland, the Britannia. It was made in Glasgow. Bear in mind. I've actually got some images, actually. I'm going to put up... One second, everyone. I'm going to put up... I've got a couple of images. Um, how'd that go from 1 to 3 to 5? Yes, yeah, so the Britannia was built in Glasgow from 1952. A spudge, fudge or tablet? Yeah, the fudge is Scottish, I suppose. You know what I mean? Fudge is um, made freshly on board. How much is the fudge? Four ninety nine or four fifty? Four fifty, sorry, four fifty for a bit of fudge. I'll be about, I'll be about twenty quid to post it probably. <laughs> So look here, it was built in Glasgow in 1952. And I'm going to put some images up. Keyring. So look, look in the chat. That's the Royal Dining Room. If you click on the chat, you'll see an image of the Royal Dining Room. And you'll see... Which one is it? You look in there, you see the drawing room, the state room, 
the stateroom and the drawing room. And look who the Queen is meeting. Click on the chat. If you look in the chat, look who the Queen's meeting there. Can you recognise the people? Anyone from America? Can you recognise anyone in that image? Britannia Keyring is five ninety nine. Ronnie Reagan, yes, Ronnie Reagan, and his wife Mary, of course. And look, look here, look. Can you recognise anyone in this image? If you look in the chat again. Nancy, was it Nancy? Hi, Nancy, that's right. Where did I get married from? <laughs> so here you go. Here's the price list here for you. You don't have the old bridge pension or concessions, do you, my dear? Uh, no, no. No, no, see. So you get adult £18.50. Student, £13.50. Child is nine twenty five. A family of two adults and three children, £50. And armed, if you're in the armed forces, you get uh, £9.25. Fabulous, isn't it? So I'm just going to show you this little museum next door for a second, actually. Uh, have I got a, Oh, sorry, I've the wrong way. <laughs> I'll just show you this museum on this side of the Britannia. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to do a full tour about the Britannia, everybody, so don't, don't worry. I'm going to do no discount for seniors. I know that's terrible, isn't it? So I'm going to do a full tour of the Britannia. So just keep your eye on my... If you're not already following my channel... If you could please follow my channel, that'd be fantastic. And I'm just going to show you some. This is an old museum of old collection things. The signal. So you see it's all like old toys. It's split into sections. This is like all old stuff. No, I've, I've came off the yacht. I'm on board the, I'm on the, the shopping centre. The signal's a bit dodgy here. It should be getting better around here, actually. It should get better around here. should pick up a bit better now. So this is a little memory museum they've made. It's all old things. Look. Old pianos. Hi Ching. How you doing? I'm not seeing you for ages. You've just missed a tour of the Royal York Britannia. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll download this video and I'll put it on my YouTube channel, okay? So if you follow my channel, see they've just been on board. Of, see there's a Britannia there, see? See you've just come there. So that's the Royal Dacetarium. Look. So, I'm going to download the video and I'll put it on my YouTube channel, okay? Just for all the ones who have missed it. Okay? So, this is all the old stuff. It's like a museum of memories. All the old um, furniture and radios, wirelesses, clocks. Old clocks, furniture, newspapers. That's not old. <laughs> Your granddad had a bureau cabinet. Did he? It's lovely. Let's see if you can recognise this tune. Name this tune. Let's see. Has it got a tune in it? Spoiling my beautiful play. <laughs> you recognise this, anyone? Name that tune in seven. <laughs> That wasn't me. <laughs> Look at the old leaf. Twinkle, twinkle. No, it's a religious song. Look at the old leaf harbour, the shore and leaf. See it? That's the old shopping street. No, it was Jesus. What is it? Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And he always will. <laughs> I'll do it again. Listen, listen. Maybe this will get it. You don't recognise that? Come on, it's as plain as day. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves me, yes he does, and he always will. Look at the old... Um, Chris, that's even older than me. What's that called? Is that a gramophone? No wind up. Is it a wind up thing, though? <laughs> Look at the old operator, the telephonist. The old computers as well, the old phones. Barbie, this will interest you, Barbie. 
One second, I'll show you in a second. We've got the old sewing equipment here. We've got the old cameras as well. Digital, the old box cameras and all that. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, what number are you looking for today? Who do you want me put you through to? They all had perfect English BBC voices, didn't they, the telephone operators? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yes, it's a little museum of memories, it's called. It's fantastic. It's a Leith one. Bear in mind, I always like to promote Leith. My hometown is Leith. See, the Virgin Mary? Or is it the Virgin Mary? Or is it Mary Magdalene? Dun, dun, dun. That's a Leith flag, by the way. Look, Barbie. Barbie, look. Look at the old sewing machines. Virgin Mary. Well, the Virgin Mary was not from Leith, I can assure you about that. You don't find many virgins in Leith anymore. Look at that. You have that sewing machine. What the heck is that? Is that a head? What's that? Is that a hair dryer? Is that a hair dryer, that thing? Look. <laughs> it's like something that the mask gets smashed. Look at that. Look at that tiny little machine as well. <laughs> this is brilliant, isn't it? Look at it. You could spend hours in here. You're actually, the kids are allowed to come in and play with the stuff as well. The kids are allowed to touch the stuff as long as they're being supervised to, um, to touch it. A hair burner. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? I remember him at school, actually. I remember getting sewn classes at school. And you had to put your feet on that thing to operate it, didn't you? Look at all the umbrellas as well. I know. Look here. Little parasols. Is Leith actually in Edinburgh? It is now. Leith became part of Edinburgh in 1920. So we've been against our will, actually. The people of Leith voted against the merger with Edinburgh. But Edinburgh just ignored us and swallowed us up. So this is all old, old tools as well, you can see. Most of the virgins are Edinburgh fans. <laughs> the machine saw on the left side of the fabric, isn't it? The old hoovers as well, look. God, the bet we're glad we've all got better hoovers nowadays, eh? Look, look at them. <laughs> imagine having the, imagine the noise. They'll be banned under the EU legislations, you know. The old, the old households. Oh, look at the old thermos flask. See, there you go, everyone. See how the thermos flask is tartan? Scots invented the thermos flask, remember? We invented the flask. Look at the old cookbook beef suet. And the, whoa. Look at the old processor. They would have worked better than most tubers nowadays, probably. <laughs> oh, look at the hair machine. Is that here? Oh, look at that, everyone. Who remembers them? <laughs> you had that on your head. <laughs> look. Mixmaster, I know that's off bet that's worth a fortune. The bet still operates it. <laughs> it's brilliant in here, isn't it? I do like this little museum, eh? It's cracking like. Oh look at the ladies' football team. Look at that everyone. God, imagine that. Wonder what year that's from. Oh the ladies. We had a blue one. <laughs> Look at the bloody rack. Look at the roller skates. I remember my sister having named roller skate things. They were so uncomfortable to wear. <laughs> the old dresses as well, look. No wedding dresses. You had those. You've still got yours. A racket. Is that what that is? Oh, is that for repairing the rackets? Is that what that does? That repairs the strings, does it? I have those roller skates when I was little as well. Oof. The old brushes and hairs. Yeah, I think I remember them always coming apart from what I remember. Oh, the roller set. Is that a roller set? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it is great in here, eh? I do really like it in here. All the old household stuff as well. Food stuff. Look at this, everyone. Look. <laughs> no snoring. <laughs> in the sleeper carriage. By order. <laughs> Look at the toy. Look at that. Aberdeen Savings Bank. I remember when you used to get banks, didn't you? They give you piggy banks for kids to save up in. Barbie. Barbie. Look. 
Ah, that's right, Don. I remember these skates. They had a nut, and you could never get it tight enough. Oh, look, look, who remembers them? This is a very Scottish thing. It's your turn to sweep and wash the stair. So you used to have, you know, in Edinburgh, we have tenement buildings. Could be up to like 14, 16 houses. And everyone had to take a turn of sweeping and mopping the, the stair. An old carpet sweeper as well, look at that. An old carpet sweeper. This is wartime rationing stuff and all that, isn't it? Abernethy biscuits. It's a lovely little museum, isn't it? So if you are in Neath, you don't have to just come to the Royal Leopard Britannia. Come and support the local museum as well. And we got a little food as well. Look at the court, there's the ladies in the shop as well. Hello everyone who's joined. Sorry you missed the tour of the Royal Yacht Britannia. I was on board the Royal X Royal Yacht Britannia today. I'll show you. Excuse me a second, sir, please. Thank you. Can you see here? Look. So I was just on board the X Royal Yacht Britannia today. That's the new upper tea deck there where you go for afternoon tea. And that's the Royal Apartments just here. And yes, so I'll, I'll put I'll find for the ones that have missed it. If you follow my channel, if you can see on board on your screen, follow. If you can follow my channel, and what I'll do is you get updates, and I'll put out a post, and you can um, watch the video on YouTube. Okay, Joyce, ah, oh, you've missed it. A little tour of the museum. Got a little museum here, tour of the Royal York Britannia. But I'm going to put it on YouTube. Look at Princess Street in the fifties. Look at Princess Street. Look at the trams. Now the trams are back. We had the trams. Look at the monument. We had the trams before. They took the trams away in the 1950s. And now they're coming back again. Idiots. Little cups. <laughs> Little tiny cups. This is a free museum. This is completely free. This has nothing to do with the X Royal York Britannia here. This is a completely free museum. It's fantastic. To say, well, you can spend hours in here, especially if you've got kids, you know, because the, the kids wouldn't know what half of these stuff. I mean, I don't know what half the stuff is. Look at this, look at this, a miracle chopper. We were. <laughs> oh, look at the old pressure cooker. <laughs> Tea cozy, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Please do the museum again. By the way, everyone's loving your museum online. By the way. Everyone's loving it. <laughs> they, want me come, they want me to come back and do a proper tour. <laughs> oh, look, that's what Sean Connery used to be. Any Sean Connery fans? That was Sean Connery's job. He left school at 13. Became a monk man and a bouncer. Oh, St Cuthbert. That's who used to work for St Cuthbert's as well. Like a co-op. St Cuthbert's was like a co-op. Cooperative. The old pictures as well. Fantastic, aren't they? A full tour of the museum would be great. Okay, I'll come back. I'll schedule a full tour, okay? I'll come back and I'll let me get one of the, see if I can get the staff to do a little talk or tour or something as well. But fantastic, isn't it? All those household goods. Is the museum open daily? Um, yes. Yes. All well, the children's stuff like that. They don't get a good signal over here. Look at the old TV. <gasps> Look at that. How cool is that? Remember the TV would switch off at night and then we'd play the Royal, the National Anthem. The old phones, oh, I remember that phone as well. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to come in these places and reminisce, isn't it? Like that. Oh, uh, Amy, you've missed the tour, honey. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> A ranch phone, look at that, isn't that fantastic? And what I'll do, Amy and everyone who's joined, I'm going to down, because I was on board the Royal Yacht Britannia, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it for you, and I'll put it onto my YouTube channel, okay? How's life? Anyway, the signal might go down a little bit just now, but bear with me, okay? Got a soft plate area. Oh, sorry, that's just me. 
Hey, where's my little museum? <coughs> the signal should pick up again. You always watch the dot disappear. <coughs> remember, the, you remember falling asleep in front of the TV. Then you'd wake up at three o'clock in the morning. It's all like, like the poker dice, you know. They take you paragliding over the Machu Picchu. I take you to a car park in Leith. How cool is that? Get your postcard fingers ready. We've got a car park in Leith to explore. How cool is this? <laughs> don't say we don't go out of the way to bring you the best car park spots in Edinburgh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I have a to all the high spots, Tesco car parks. <laughs> So there's a Britannia, everybody. Hello, Britannia. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules and wave. Thank you, Dee, for leaving a tip. Cool, isn't it? The Royal York Britannia. And here's the world's first vertical. Let's get this on it. Excuse me. So here we go. This is why I actually done the tour today. <coughs> Excuse me. See ya. Thank you, Cynthia, for leaving a tip. So this is why I'm actually here today. The Re ex Rail Yacht Britannia was just a bonus tour for you. Did you enjoy the little tour of the Britannia? See ya. See it's listed over. Yeah, what a shame, isn't it? But hey, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just thought I would sneak on board today like an illegal story. I felt like an illegal story from the past when little boys had to sneak on the ships and the boats to escape and go on adventure. I thought that was me. Me, me. Will I do any tours of Aberdeen? Yes, I will, actually. I'll do tours of Aberdeen in uh, May, I think it is. In May. So hopefully you enjoyed the little tour. Impromptu tour. Paul, what was it said? This tour isn't in Edinburgh. No, it is. Well, it's te technically it's in Leith, but Leith is part of Edinburgh. Okay, Leith has been part of Edinburgh since 1920, but Leith used to be a completely separate borough from Edinburgh. But it, it is part of Edinburgh. Unfortunately, it's part of Edinburgh, shall we say. Um, but this is why we're here. Okay, so this faith, this is the one that the US Navy owns. So this ship here got toppled over. It's called the Petrel. P-E-T-R-E-L. P-E-R-T-E-L. And just a little background, it used to be owned by the uh, Microsoft co-founder. How far is Edinburgh from Leith? It's about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So this is the one that it's now owned. It was owned by the Microsoft co-founder, Peter Allen. Uh, Paul Allen, sorry. Paul Allen used to own it, the Microsoft founder. Um, but it's now owned by the US Navy. But I'll come on to that in a second. So I'll just give a little background into the ship. Okay, so what happened? The ship was built in 2003 in Norway. And it was actually built as a deep water offshore inspection vessel. Okay, it was then sold in 2016. And it was converted for deep submergence and archaeologically. Archaeology, sorry. What she did was she went around the world finding and exploring over um, two dozen shipwrecks. So between 2017 and 2020... She found over two dozen shipwrecks. Um, when the ship was laid up in 2020 due to COVID, that's when it stopped. That's when it came to leave. It was in October 20 minutes. So the, that over there is in a dry dock. 20 minute walk or drive. It depends. It could take you 20 minutes to drive or 20 minutes to walk, depending on the roadworks. But we've got a tram system now coming down to Leith. So you can get down. To, I can walk to Leith in Edinburgh in like 30 minutes, 25, 20 minutes. It's not far at all. The buses, they've got loads of buses and trams down to Leith now, so um, don't worry about that. So it did have on board, there was 20 marine crew and 10 project crew. Okay, but then it was the US Navy, once it was brought to Leith, it was bought by the US Navy for the, 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 the Department of the US Navy that own it. It's called the Navy Facilities Engineering Systems Command. And it was getting refurbished here in Leith. 
right? It came here in, uh, during lockdown. And what happened was, when it was owned by the Microsoft founder, he, he had stipulated that the shipwrecks that they t were trying to find, it was mostly US warships that had been sunk in various wars they were looking for. So when they found the, the, the war graves, the ships, um, they were to be kept secret as to their exact location, okay? And they tried to find sunken warships in particular. It's powered by four diesel engines. And in 20, one of its greatest achievements actually was in 2017, right? And it found one of the most elusive shipwrecks in the history. In history, sorry. The USS Indi Indianapolis. In that's a quite a hard word for me to say. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yes. So it was, um, that was one of its greatest finds. It found the HMS Indianapolis in the Philippines. And it was at a depth of 5,500 metres. 18,000 feet, and it took them 26 days of searching to find it. But then, as I mentioned earlier, due to COVID, the ship was to be moored up indefinitely. They just said that was it. Due to COVID, circumstances have changed, and um, that was it. But then it got sold to the US Navy whilst it was here. The ship itself cost $12 million. It weighs 3,000 tonnes, and on the 22nd of March, just last week, it was last Monday, I was doing a tour, at nine o'clock in the morning, it was very windy. The wind gusts were up to, it was between 38 to 44 miles per hour winds, which is 60, 61 to 71 kilometers per hour when it was um, toppled over. But the experts don't think it was the wind. They don't actually know what it was that caused it to be toppled over, because it's quite unusual. So the police and the health and safety um, executive are still investigating it to find out what happened. It was just before half past eight in the morning, 8.29 a.m. There was 50 people on board and 33 were injured and taken to various hospitals. And I think there's about seven people still in hospital. Um, hi, Bobby. Thanks for that. Hey, Lisa. So, yeah, so there was some Americans were injured. There were some Americans on board who were doing the refurb. So, obviously, it was getting refurb and changed to what the U.S. Navy were going to use it for. So, there you go, everyone. So, that's about toppled over. So what a little shame, isn't it? So yeah, I don't think it was wind, because it's in a dry dock, right? So what you can't see is where the, uh, that's, it's not sitting in water, it's a dry dock, and that's, it's quite deep, you know? In fact, I've got some images. If you check in the chat, so this is at sea. If you click on the chat, so that's what it looks like in the sea. Okay, that's what it looks like in the sea. And this is a, an aerial shot of it toppled over. So if you click on the chat, again, click on the image in the chat, that's just an aerial shot of the boat, that's, the ship that's, I keep on calling it a boat, it's a ship. So that's it there, everyone. So as you can see, this is a working dock, I used to work over there. It's in a dry dock called Dales, in fact, so you can see it there. Look, see it? Can you see the, the you can't see it, that's Dales Marine Services, that's the company that were doing all the work on it. So it's quite embarrassing for them that the ship got toppled over. And at first, it didn't, it didn't get revealed at first that it was owned by the U.S. Navy. They just said it was um, the Microsoft co-founder, and then it was all kind of hushed-hushed. And then it eventually was released that it was um, the U.S. Navy that owned it. So, there you go. But I'm just going to show you this cruise liner over here as well. And if you look over here, this is where the Ukrainian refugees are. You see the cruise liner there? See that ship there? There's 1,100 1, um, Ukrainian refugees on that there. 1,125 Ukrainian refugees on board that ship. And seemingly it's quite good conditions, but I don't know because um, if you were inside on a... Um, if you were in one of the cabins without a window, you know what I mean? Wouldn't it be very nice for children if you've got a family staying there and all that? So, so hope you enjoyed the tour, everybody. Did you enjoy the tour today? Thank you very much for joining me on this last-minute tour of a multi-storey car park in Leith. <laughs> Who would have thought this today? You'd have been a tour of a multi-storey car park in Leith. <laughs> if you stay on, I'm just going to show you inside the centre. The signal might go up and down. So just bear with me, everyone. Just a reminder, this is a tip-based platform. If you can afford to leave a tip, that'd be fantastic. If you can't, it's no problem. I've been in a situation myself where it's been difficult.
makes it through the car park. Also, I've already followed my chat. For the ones who have just joined, hello Dan. That's, uh, I guess, a monthly fee of about £10, and we get 70, 75% of that. So the signal should be a minute. Everyone, just bear with me. What we'll do for today, I'll put it on YouTube so you can see a little bit of the tour of the Royal Yacht Britannia. Okay? There she's there. Yeah, there's so much glass reflecting it. This shopping centre is called the Ocean Terminal, by the way. It was designed by Terence Conran. You know the guy who, um, the Habitat founder. Habitat. The centre's not really been that successful, actually. It's got a cinema inside it. Um, it's got a new skateboarding um, rollerblade in place for children. Or adults as well, I suppose. Lots of chain restaurants, Nando's, Frankie and Benny's, and all that kind of jazz. But it has got a view cinema. Pat is getting past the knockdown, actually. It opened up in about. He's got a Nando's. It opened up in about the late 90s. And it's never really been successful. The shops have always closed down and so on, so. I've actually got a little museum to show you downstairs as well. If we stay on, I'll, hopefully the signal will stay with me. And I've got another little museum with some old pictures of Leith. So there's the cinema. The view cinema. It's quite good. You see, it's quite a trendy looking place. It was designed by Terence Conran. It's quite trendy. Quite nice design. As I say, it never really got much success at all. Yeah, quite a nice shopping centre. But it's never really been a success. You can see this is a Saturday, I mean it should be heaving. This, this is actually the busiest I've seen it for a long time actually. Could you do a film of both museums and then do them as home tours? That's a good idea, Art. I suppose I could, eh? But see the thing is, you know this, this is a shopping mall called the Ocean Terminal. The thing is, people don't tend to give you very good tips. You know, see if you do tours from home, because even though sometimes doing the tours from home, you can actually put in um, more work. Yeah, it actually can be more work than doing a live tour sometimes. Um, and you don't get hardly any tips. Because people, people, I don't know what it is. It's like people are quite reluctant to tip you if you're just doing tours from home. It's like they don't think you put any effort in. But sometimes it's actually more effort because you've got to go to different locations and film and so on. They cost you more money, you know. It's a difficult one. We will mind. It's just never had the right stores. Hopefully, can you still see me? I know I've only got a low signal, so I'm just going to show you. Hopefully, we can see this. Can you still see me? Okay. Yep. Yeah. I've only got one bar. This is old pictures of Leith. So, this is the Curgate Shopping Centre. Are yeah, you still there? That's gone. The street's now gone. That got demolished at the end of the 1960s, that street there. It's now a horrible shopping centre. The railway bridges are now gone as well. Yeah, signals are a bit dodgy here. What I'll do is I'll do this. I'll come back here and I'll do, as Artie said, I'll do this. I'll record it from home. And, because um, the signal's a bit crap. The sound's good though, is it? That's the show. Looks like 1980s. No, 60s, is it? 1968, wow. Um, yeah, look at the children here. What's this? 1920s, look at that. 1920s. Or take photos of the photos. Yeah. Oh, look at the old show. Look at that. 1880. Look at that. Combine it with Britannia. Look at that. 1920. Wow. Oh, well. Well, there you go, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the tour today. What we managed to see of it. Well, stalls all.
I don't want to look at them, just keep going. Oh, sorry about that. I lost the signal there. Faith. Ah, yeah, we do, yes. I mean, I'm not blaming anybody for not tipping, you know. I would never um, blame anybody for not tipping, but the um, thing is, when you do them from home, you do, you do the trips, the percentage of the tips go down. And as Faith is saying as well, you know, as it takes you sometimes more, it takes more effort to do the at-home tours. So as you can see, the trams are coming down here now. This is the main tram line, so this is open up in June. So it's quite an exciting time for Leith. All these new apartments and houses have been getting built and so on. And this is a brand new tram line. Woohoo, how exciting! I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. So there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on my tour today. Oh, I cancel. Thank you so much, everybody. You've made a happy man very old. No, an old man very happy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you follow my channel, and that'd be fantastic. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the last minute tour.